My name is Duff, and I'm here to say that I make cakes that'll make your day. Like, people were rapping like that. And then, like, this came out, and everybody was like, what? I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Duff, and I'm at Amoeba Hollywood, and this is What's in My Bag. These dudes were way ahead of their time. Rakim is an incredible MC, and he, the way he thinks about lyrics and builds lyrics and puts lyrics together, nobody was doing it like, like, like Rakim at the time. Nobody. Rakim gets stronger as I get older. Constant elevation, cause expansion. I write my rhymes while I cool in my mansion. They put it on tape and in the city I test it. Then on the radio, the R's request it. Here's the thing about Baraka. There's a scene in Baraka where the planes are flying over the oil fields that Saddam Hussein lit on fire. And in the, that scene of just absolute, complete ecological devastation, the filmmakers, um, they put bagpipes on top of Tibetan chanting, on top of Tibetan symbols. It's incredibly powerful, especially if you're stoned. <laughs> just saying. Not that I was when I watched it. I'm just saying, if you were, I can imagine it would be really intense. OK, so Minor Threat. I listened to a lot of Minor Threat when I was a kid. You got these awesome killer uh, faux straight edge tattoos, because I love Minor Threat, even in sixth grade. OK, this is a great movie, Departed. Jack Nicholson kills it. He's creepy and weird. But here's the fucked up thing about this movie. You can't just throw Martin Sheen off a building. Like, I don't care if you are Martin Scorsese. Like, I hope you apologize to Martin You can't just throw him off a, he threw him off a building. It's kind of fucked up, but it's still a really good movie. I'm in an Elvis cover band called Danger Ace. I play upright bass. We do some songs off of this one. One of my favorite one is Polk Sal and Annie. You got your granny. Everybody said it was a shame because a mama was a working on the chain gang. If you haven't accepted Elvis into your heart, Listen to Polk Sal and Annie as your first song. Don't think about any other Elvis that you may have heard on some commercial somewhere or something. Just listen to Polk Sal and Annie. This is uh, My Blue Heaven, Steve Martin, Rick Moranis. Uh, it's a great movie with probably my biggest celebrity crush. This would be weird. Carol Kane. And there's a scene in the movie when Shaldeen is in the grocery store and Steve Martin is like this Italian, like mobster guy and, and he walks up to Shaldean and he's like you know it's dangerous for you to be here in the frozen food section why is that because you could melt all this stuff <gasps> and then it's like the best line ever and she falls in his arms and they go to Reno and get married get this movie you'll laugh your ass off it's a beautiful story this is an amazing record Here's the thing, you should get this record, but what you should also do is uh, watch Funky Monks, um, which was the, basically the documentary about how they made this record and um, how these guys really kind of like, they gelled in a house and how like Rick Rubin like really made them make an amazing record. If Baron von Munchausen had ejaculated the four of us being the Red Hot Chili Peppers onto a chessboard, I would have to say that Rick Rubin would be the perfect chess player for that particular board. Like Rick Rubin, like harnessed the power of four incredibly creative people and made you know one of the greatest rock albums of all time. This, this is Clutch's new record, Earth Rocker. Yeah. 
Clutch is a band that's been around since, what, 94, 93, something like that, and they were like the Grateful Dead of, of distortion. You know what I mean? Like These dudes are heavy. Really, really heavy band, really awesome, and, but they've been killing it for 20 years now, and they just put this record out, and it kicks ass. This is Zombie by Fela Kutis. I mean, anything by Fela Kutis is gonna, gonna, gonna rock your world. I was in a Fela Kuti cover band. Seriously, like 20, 25 people in this band, a lot of people. And we we're all packed in this little tiny stage. And the band leader who played uh, tenor and Fender Rhodes, uh, he like spun around to, to like say something to like, I think percussion. And he elbowed me in the face. And the thing about when you play like a Fela show is that they're like four hours long. And I had to play the whole thing with like, a, like basically just blood, just like all over my face, like pouring out. It was amazing. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thanks for having me. Salute, open your hat, stand at ease, fall